the mountains will quake, the sea will roar, and the rivers will boil. <coughs> Let me waste no more time so that the female goat will not deliver the rope on his neck. It will be dangerous. <coughs> at the outer court of the sanctuary since the early hour of the morning. I have wondered and wondered what has kept the eye of Igumalan so long at the Yanta Boili River. Everyone is wondering what shall happen to Iguma in the season of great expectation. So, what did the gods say at the Yanta Boili River? Who will be the sacrificial lamb for the redemption of Igumalan? Let me know the person so that I can go ahead and, and send the message to the family so that they can prepare. It is not as if I do not know my left from my right. An old woman need not to be reminded of the dance steps she has mastered from childhood. That is why I say, when you see a snail crawling, do not be in a hurry to step on it, for it will soon turn to a serpent. Ichego, have this piece of curry. The piece of curry you brought from the dark forest is not the name of a person. All I need is the name of the person who will be the sacrificial lamb. Huh? The gods of our father takes a full grown man every 20 years for his own sacrifice. So let me know the name of and you give me a, a, a piece of cowry. I went down to Yantaboili River at the hottest point where great Uruko speaks. Great Uruko spoke and I hate him clearly. But the words of the gods are heavy in my mouth. It is as if my tongue will cleave to the roof of my mouth. The words of the gods I like that fly that patches on a wound. If you allow it, that may be dangerous. And if you hit it, the wound will bleed. See, there is nothing in the eyes I can see that will make it bleed. Is it not all about human sacrifice that has been going on every 20 years? Huh? Who did I give that piece of cowry which I brought from the dark forest? The piece of cowry you brought from the dark forest is in my hand. You gave it to me. And you're asking who again? The gods have spoken that to whom I gave that piece of cow which I brought from the dark forest, from his hand shall be required the sacrificial lamb for the redemption of Iguma land for the next 20 years. The gods have spoken, so be it, for the words of the gods are irrevocable. 
The words of the gods are infallible. The words of the gods are irreversible. Okiyoko, oh, it's me, Igu, you gave the piece of cowry you brought from the evil forest. Me, Igu, the chief messenger. Uh, but right from the days of our ancestors, the gods of our fathers have never taken a sacrifice from a chief messenger. Uh, and if the gods of our fathers we leave the men that have ten sons, and those who have five sons, and decide to take the only fish that swims in my ocean, the only tree that grows in my forest, then it don't mean that the gods of our fathers, they are unfair. Abomination! Abomination! Abomination in the land! Abomination to the strength of your life! How can you say the gods are unfair? The gods are never unfair. <laughs> gods of my fathers! This is too much. How can the only fish that swims in my ocean and the only tree that grows in my forest be the one that will be taken? No! Ah, gods of my fathers. My first wife died without having a child. My second wife just gave birth to a child 20 years ago. You shot the womb. Why? Why did you not decide to take from me, from me? No! Am I the one that fall down on the ground crying as if I am a woman? Falling down as if I am a vegetable? Ego! I'm a warrior! My forefathers are warriors. And warriors never give birth to cowards. If the gods of my fathers decide that my son will be the one that will be sacrificed for the redemption of Igumana, so be it. Is there anything that the eyes can see that will make it bleed? It's all about the gods. So be it. Let my son die. Ah, is that why I should cry? Oruko. Gods of my fathers. Oh, here I go. My knees are on the ground for that abominable words that came out of my mouth when I say that the gods of our fathers are unfair. Mm -hmm. Yes. The gods are never unfair. Mm -hmm. This is the son of the soil speaking. The one who does not fret at the sight of my blood. Yes. Mm. Your great grandfather was a warrior, and warriors never give birth to cowards. No. Have this piece of red cloth that your son may sleep with it and that the gods of our ancestors may receive a sacrifice. So be it. May the gods of our ancestors go with you. And may the peace of Great Oruka go with you. My fathers, the gods of my fathers, has hit me below the belt. The gods has eaten their grasses on my grave. Ego, I have washed my hands only to crack the palm kernel to feed the worthless birds. Child! <laughs> well, no man can, can chase the wind. No man can cut the cloud with a machete. My strength cannot be like that of a buffalo cow. 
Is it no foolishness? If a man begins to chase the wind, what can a mortal man do? Can I fight the gods of our fathers? They've made their decision. So be it. If the gods have decided that my son shall be sacrificed, that the Gumalan will have peace for another 20 years, let it be. What will I do? That has been the customs of the land. Mama Obina! Is it not when the house is on fire? That is when foolish women will begin to chase rats. She will pretend as if she's not hearing my voice now. Mama Obina! Uh, so I will call you one million times before you give me an answer? No, I was at the backyard. I'm sorry. You are welcome. <coughs> now, sit down. <coughs> See, I said you should sit down. Listen to me. Just as the child born by a woman cannot go back to his mother's womb to be given birth again, and season that comes to pass cannot change. That is how the words that come from my mouth cannot be recycled back. Now, is it not a foolish man who always likes to eat a fowl that is knocked down by a bicycle? But when his own fowl comes out to the road, he will chase it away. That is true. That's a foolish man. Because he likes to eat a fowl that is knocked down. Listen to me again. When a seed of the corn is planted, the earth opens its mouth and swallows the seed. That seed will decay as the corn begins to germinate. True or false? Yes. It's that is also how the yam that is eaten at the New Yam Festival, so fat and heavy they are, but when it was first planted, the ate, ate the seed before the yam began to germinate. That is true. The good things that have been happening in the Guma land, the wars that we fight and we win, our women that keep giving birth to male and female children, the rain that comes in season. That was because 20 years ago, the gods of our fathers swallowed a sacrifice. Every 20 years in Iguma land, we are in for another due season. The gods are ready to swallow a sacrifice so that they can bring forth good things to us. I am coming back from the sanctuary now. In the forest, where I met Ohioku, the priestess of the land. And she has spoken as she heard clearly from the Yanta Boiling River. <laughs> but the message is so bitter in the mouth. Worry. Worry. My, you are scaring me. The gods of our fathers has decided that the sacrifice for the redemption of Iguma land for the next 20 years is coming from our family. What? What do you mean? From our house? Obina. My son. Yes. Has been marked for death. No. No. Obina. My only son. Yeah. His name has been mentioned. At the spiritual world. Ah! <laughs> Obina, my only son! I'm finished. I'm finished. Obina, yeah, that is my only home. That is my only home. I'm finished. <laughs> Worry, mind how you cry. Ah, Ma mind how you cry. Mind how you cry. Oh, ah, my only son. I'm I, I say you should mind how you cry. I'm finished. Worry. Worry. Ah! Mind how you hit yourself on the ground. You 
should be careful how you try to hit yourself on the ground. I said you should be how you hit yourself on the ground. I am finished. I am finished. Go. If you die, if you die, my father will bear me witness. I, I, I will get married. I will marry another. And when I start, I will, I will, I will start from 15 years. No man can cut the cloud with a machete. Worry. You cannot put your hands in the mouth of a wild lion. Worry. It's my only hope. The words of the gods are infallible. This is my only hope. I don't have it. Please. What can you do? I don't know. No women have many sons. The gods of our fathers have spoken their words. No man can cut the cloud with a machete. The gods of our fathers are greater than us. You cannot carry the mountain with your hands, can you? No man can put his hand in the mouth of a wild lion. You cannot chase the wind. That is the only one I am. My hope is shattered. Worry, gather up yourself. I have told you, if you hit yourself on the ground and die, the gods of Ipumalan, you bear me witness. I will get married. I will be married. And when I start, I'm going to start from 15 years. My hope is shattered. I'm finished. My only child. My only child. Mama Ibuku, 20 years ago, the gods took her only son eh? and opened her womb and gave her three more sons. You never can say what the gods will use to pay you back. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> this woman decided she will not cook any food, she will not eat or drink any water until she sees her son die. But as for me, Igu, I know very well that hunger comes with many warriors. I can't stand it. <laughs> I don't know how, where she draws her own strength. I can not stand it. <laughs> Me, ego, will not eat because Man. Impossible. I will be going to buy my own food. Thank <laughs> you. 
and you are here putting your thumb in your face. You are so heartless. <laughs> you are so heartless. Your only son is about to die, and you are here feeling this. Your naughty tummy with fufu. Now you are so wicked. Now you will not eat this thing again, oh. You are so wicked. Bring my dad soup here. You are so wicked. I said you should bring my dad soup here. I won't give it to you. So, worry. You put away my soup. sent Iduzo six days ago to bring him back. Iduzo came back with the news that the boy said he will come back. Yes? We waited for him and we did not see him. Then two days after, I sent Iduzo back. Then Iduzo now came back the second time with the news that the boy is nowhere to be found. Up till now, this is my confusion. I am like a snail boiling in the pot of soup of an old woman. Higui could mean that the boy heard the story that he is going to be used for sacrifice and he ran to an unknown destination. But you don't need to worry about that. Just produce two ahi, the native cow. And that will excite the god to strike the boy wherever he is in the city. Mazio Gazi, the problem I have now is that I don't have a Hindu native cow. I, I, as you see me now, I don't have 
he the native cow. The two lands I have, even if I sell them, they are not enough to produce one, one ahi. Not talk about two. I, 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 I just don't know. Ibu, don't tell me this. Don't tell me this. You are one of the most respected elders in this village. You are not a small boy. You are a warrior, the son of a warrior. When Iduzo came back from the city and told you the story, was that not clear enough for you to see the handwriting on the wall and start chasing a dark goat in the daytime? If some of us have heard your cry early enough, by now 2A would have been here ready for sacrifice in two days' time. Oh, guys, I, I didn't know that the boy will not come back now. I didn't know. How will I know? <laughs> Nobody climbs an Iroko tree and keep a boiling water on the ground with the hope he will fall down and use the, the water to strengthen his bones. I didn't know. I, I didn't know. Now the festival is two days from here. And the only place you can get a is Umapia village. A journey of two days across two rivers and two hills. Even if you set up for the journey now, it means you will only come back the money of your sacrifice. Too bad. I remember, my father told me, when he was a child, such thing happened. When the son of one Iche Igandu was marked for sacrifice by the gods, and the boy ran to an unknown place. Lucky enough, Iche Igandu rear native cows himself, and he could easily provide two for the sacrifice. It was two days after the Festival of Peace. The dead and decayed body of the young boy was found at the old stream. Now my fear is, if the boy doesn't come today or latest by tomorrow evening, he will be used for the sacrifice on the altar in the sanctuary. <laughs> Igu, then I would have been the most foolish man Igu Malan has ever produced. Because when the strangers came in search of young men to be taken to the city for modern education, all the elders in Igu Malan held back their children, they held back their sons. I was the only foolish man that released my son to them. If this boy was here now, I, I wouldn't have been in, 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 in this problem. It's no time to cry. This is time for action. What do we do now? And I, I don't know that our ego, our ego will, 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 will be consumed at the altar of sacrifice because my son that was marked for, for sacrifice did not come back to Igumalan. Igu is a hard decision to take. The God of my life. I still don't know the name to call you. Oh, maybe I should call you Iago. Yes. Iago. Which means the one that can close the road and nobody can open it. Yes, Iago. Close the road. Don't allow my son to come back. Don't allow my son to come back to this village. Prevent him from the sight of every, every man in this village. Also prevent him from the sight of the gods of the land. 
Since there is no native cow anywhere, to awaken the gods of the land to strike my son and the city. Please protect him for me. Don't allow anything to happen to him. Prevent him from coming back. Close the road. Don't let him come back at all. I don't want him to die. I will give you any type of sacrifice you want. I will offer, I will offer to you. Any type of sacrifice you want at all. I will give you sacrifice. Please prevent him. Don't allow anything to happen to him. You won't give me color, so let me go straight to the point. I am coming straight from the palace now. I am on an errand for the Igwe. The Igwe sent me to come and find out if your son has arrived in the land. Ikok, did you say that the Igwe sent you? To come and find out if my son is back. Hmm? Even so, has he arrived into the land? Go and tell Igwe that Obina, my son, is not yet back. <laughs> we are still expecting him. Yes, sir. Whatever you have to do, do it quickly. The Igwe says that Oyok sent a message that the boiling point of the river has turned dark. Which you know is a sign of danger. Whatever you have to do, do it quickly. The festival of peace is around the corner. Right now, the sacrifice ought to be in the land. Not this thing that you're talking about, still expecting him, you know, and all that. It is better to look for the black goat when there is still daylight. Ikogo, if the Igwe sent you to come and find out if my son is back, I've given you the message. Then go mm. and tell the Igwe what I said now. Eh? Or is there any other thing in your mind? Is there any other thing going on in your, in your mind? <clears throat> yes, I Of know. course, I know you don't have the money for two native cows. <laughs> I have delivered my message. Igog, let me tell you. I want to let you know that it has come to my ear what you have been telling other elders about me. He comes, remove your eyes and your mouth from whatever that is happening in Igu's family. Maazi Igu, if you know how to pound, pound in the mortar. If not, on the ground. elder in Iguma land to, to send your message except Ikogo. A man that does not want to use his eyes to see anything good in Igu's family. A man that always laughs when I am crying. He has just come to pour more salt into my injury. Okay. There is no problem. <coughs> Don't blame your general. You started this time. Hey. And the master of this game now. 
You know that. We need to get my tongue, you see. Play. Have you heard? Heard what again? Oh, been a man's in good soul. It's not yet back to the village. Come, miss, you will not die again. Because today is the last day. Yes. Anyway, it was in me that Obina has find out the implication. I decided to run away. Are you sure what you're saying? Because I heard he came back yesterday. She is right. The boy is not back up to the village or up to you now. He'll... If that is the case then, huh, I will be the happiest girl in this land. I mean, you need to see how I cried and cried when I heard that that young promising boy, so bright and intelligent, has been marked by the ghost for the sacrifice. At times I just wonder why the ghosts of our land did they see those boys roaming about the village? Especially that one in my house that calls himself my elder brother. Hey, Adaku. Adaku. Take it easy. You know what? Is that not your younger sister talking about us? You said you cried. Yes, I yes. cried. I cried. That you even prefer your old blood brother to die instead of Obina. I think there is something fishing about you, Adam Obina, that no, you come. No, 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 no. Ike should not just take it wrong, okay? If that is not where I'm going. It's not a matter of having Obina in mind. Then it's what? Ike should just face reality. Yeah. Were yeah. you not here when the, the strangers came to this village and conducted the test? You also how Obina conducted himself, how he answered the questions to the point that even the strangers were surprised that. That boy is from this remote village of ours. Oh. And you saw when he got to the town of my brother, how he feels so woefully, and everybody laughed him to the school. Now, let's call a spade a spade. That boy shouldn't return from the city only to die in the name of sacrifice. Then, why the other boys who loaf and gambles in the bush are everywhere in this village? Anyway, should he come tomorrow and propose to me? After all, who will test honey and spill it out? Hey! This is very smart, you know. Hadako. You know what? Your younger sister, Hadako, has finished you. Are you hearing her? She says she prefers you to die instead of being a man's good son. I noticed of recent that she's, she's started feeling too big. She doesn't respect us. And I, I, I'm sure she does not respect you too. Respect me? She doesn't have respect for me at all. Then you must support me now. So I'll beat her up. I give you my full support. Beat her up. She doesn't respect anyone. But now that his father is good to die instead of him, it still does not call for a celebration. Uh, what do you mean? Oh, I see if you don't know this tradition of this land, that it will take Obina's father to provide native cow to empower the gods to kill Obina in that city. I mean, where, where the father refuses to provide those two native cows, his father will be sacrificed instead of Obina. You seem to know much about our tradition. Yes, it's because I'm close to my father. My father always tells me everything that happens in this community. Are you jealous? No, I'm hmm. not. Uh. I still can remember when those strangers came and conducted the <laughs> test. And Obina was selected for the modern education. 
His father was told that in the future, only the educated ones will rule our land as the Igwe. Mm. And he was so excited. And that means he must have thought of how the Igwe of Igwe land will come from his household. If they should sacrifice him today, it means he's dying in the place of a great son. After all, the pride of every father is to have a son who is better than him, even when he's named me. Hey, I said it. This guy is really, really in love with this boy, Obina. Yeah, I'm tired, I bet. Let's go. I'm tired of sitting down here. Let's no. at least rest more, man. No. I'm tired, I beg. After, 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 after. Hey, stop there. <laughs> you stop there. You. Carry your, carry your firewood and leave. And you. Leave. You. I, you. I, I can follow leave. you. Leave. Shut, shut up. You, you know how to talk, eh? You know how to talk. Ah, please, don't, please, 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 don't Shut be up. Speed up. Ah, please, 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 ever imagined the confusion that the grass quarter encounters when its home is blocked by an aggressive and hungry hunter and its only way of escape leads it into a fiery fire. What do you mean, Mazi? That is exactly the confusion Mazi who has found himself now. That man is in an extremely pitiable state. So what is he going to do now? <laughs> Listen, that man put himself in the trouble, you see. Let the head that disrupts the beehive suffer this thing. As he could put himself in this place, it is his hyper ambition that put him into this trouble. So does it mean a man's high ambition can lead him into fire? Exactly. That is exactly what Mazigo is suffering now. Listen, some years back, Mazigo wanted his son to learn the thread of a blacksmith. Because in the whole Guma land and environs, there was nobody with that skill. Now, the strangers came to the land with that strange offer to train some of our young men in the modern education. <coughs> Mazigu came out, accepted the offer without looking back. Because he wanted his son to become the greatest person in the Holy Kumara. And maybe for him to answer the father of the greatest man in the Kumara. See, if that boy had not stepped out of this land, he wouldn't have found himself in this place. You mean you were present 
<laughs> when somebody else beat your sister and you didn't do anything? It was her white mouth that brought the beating to her. What do you mean? Why did he beat only her? Hmm. Why did the other two girls get the same beating? Hmm, you tell me. Ask her what she was telling the other girls. Adak, what did you discuss with the other girls? Papa, she said she would have been happy if I, his brother, also we are the ones to be used by the girls for what? sacrifice. Adak, did you say that? I was with Ozondo when he left to beat her. If not that, she's my blood sister. So you want to join the beating now? Adak, did you say such an abominable thing? Is that not a mere conversation with her friends? It is not a mere conversation, woman. How can she say that she prefers her only brother to be used for sacrifice? I know you will take her out, like mother, like daughter. Go and eat your food, go inside and eat your food. How can you say that kind of rubbish? Mazi Kong, you are now the chief messenger of the gods of our ancestors. Uruko. From now henceforth, you shall receive the words from our ancestors. And you shall deliver it without fear. For you have taken over from the one who has fallen. You shall speak nothing but the truth. You shall speak the truth. You shall speak the truth, but not yet, but the truth. You say... Receive your sacrifice! And may rain come upon us in due season. You say... Let it be that as you receive your sacrifice, we shall win our battles. You say... We will conquer all our enemies. You say... And peace will rest on every side. You say... May you take the sacrifice in peace. <laughs> for that. That I, Igu, will be tied at the sacred place in the forest, my hands and my legs will be tied in the forest by my enemy, Ikongo. Oh. 
who rejoices over my downfall. <laughs> Ikogo. So Ikogo has realized his long last dream of becoming the next chief messenger of the gods to take over from me when I must have gone. Hey, gosh of my ancestors, what a misfortune. Why pay me back with bitter pains? Igu, Igu, is now my head. We disgracefully bowed down in shame. <laughs> Dying. <laughs> Shameful <Shepherd> dead. <laughs> Answered my prayer. You have paid back my son <laughs> up to today, which is the last day. <laughs> Thank you. I can see that your great power is so mighty and greater than Oruko, the God that marked my son for death. This night. The spirit of the gods will come. <laughs> I will not see my son. Since there is no AE in the car. So I'm waking the gods to kill him in the city. But by tomorrow, my husband will be sacrificed at the altar of the gods. There is still a better option for me. Yago. Move in action now. Continue to protect my son. Don't allow anything to happen to him. Continue to prevent him from the sight of the gods and from the sight of the men of this village. I will give you any type of sacrifice of my choice since I don't know what you think. I will always come to this place to worship you. Oh, you're good. I will always come here to worship you. Till I really know who you are. Ever since my ancestors live, I have never seen a man die in place of another that is marked for sacrifice. So, Igu, I will die. My hands and my legs shall be tied at the altar by my enemy. <laughs> no. Instead of my hands and my legs be tied at the sacred place in the forest by Ikogo, my enemy. It will be better I take my life. Let them come and bring me down from the tree. 
and lay me at the altar and set fire on me better than with my two eyes see my enemy carry me. on you, my heart suddenly rolled down into my body. <sighs> there is no problem. My son, absolutely no problem. Except that the season we are in now, they are sacred season. When the gods of our fathers are ready to take the sacrifice that it shall be well for Iguma land. Every 20 years in Iguma land, the gods that gives us great times takes the sacrifice. You, Obina, has been marked to die. Your name was mentioned in that spiritual world beyond as the next, the sacrificial lamb for the redemption of the Goma land. This night, you will sleep with the cloth that is delivered into my hand by your yoke, facing your face up, and at the mid of the night today, at the time when light and darkness jam together, the spirit of the gods will descend and take your soul. I and your mother, tomorrow morning, very early, we have, we have shown our white and white. We shall carry your dead body to a Koba market square. Fire shall be set under you. You will begin to burn. And elders will dance around the altar as you were born. In, and they will drink their wine and eat their meat to mark the beginning of a new season. That is all. There is no problem. Your mother has cooked your food. You will eat your last meal today before you begin the journey with the spirit tonight. That is all, my son. There is no problem. Papa, is this the only reason why you sent that urgent message to me? That is the only reason, the most crucial reason a very important reason. Papa, so this is the only reason why you send that urgent message to me that made me abandon everything in the city and here I am in this village. Papa, I have a test tomorrow afternoon. If not, it's already late. I would have left this village right now. Will you go with your legs or will you fly in the spirit? Papa, I don't have anything to do with this useless tradition and ancestral belief. Papa, these things are nonsense. Amina! Did I hear you call the beliefs and the gods of your father's nonsense? Oh, man. Ah! Did I hear you call the ancestral belief and the thing that, that led the foundation of Igumala nonsense and foolish? <laughs> if not that the gods of our father will not take this sacrifice that is bleeding with blood. I would have used my machete on you now. Imagine, you want to cause trouble to I and your mother that will be alive after you have died? Do you know the gods that, that formed you in the womb of your mothers? To calling them Moses? Of course. You are already a sacrifice on the altar. Papa, I 
I'm very sorry if I offended you in my words. You did not offend me. You offended the gods that planted you in the womb of your mother. You offended the gods that laid the, the beams of the chambers of the cloud above. That is the one you are offended. There's something I want you to know. Over there in the city, I received into my life Jesus Christ of Nazareth, who came and died on the cross of Calvary over 2,000 years ago for the sins of the whole world. And Papa, because that Jesus lives in me, because his power is in me, no power, not even a Ruko, can harm me. Please, Papa, I beg you, prepare my transport fare and all I will need for my studies in the city. Because tomorrow morning, I will live in this village. Well, good night. But first of all, you will sleep with that cloth or Yoko gave me from the Yanta Poiling River. Sleep with it and face your face up. Then I will now see whether you are the one that formed yourself or there is another person that formed you. Is it to do ja, 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 ja. Is it today we is it because you went to the city? That you went to the city, then the Goma land will not be what it is. Mm. Twenty years ago, Mazi Bukusan roasted on the altar at the Koba Market Square. The mother cried and cried. Ibuku cried and cried as if they would cry out blood. Did they cry, bring back their son, or did they stop the consuming fire from burning? 40 years ago, it happened. 60 years ago, it happened. All the years, my ancestors lived. Every, every sacrifice marked by, the, marked by the gods went away with the gods. Gods of my fathers. Thanks to the gods of my fathers. I am free. You have set me free. You have made me not to enter into the pit that is dug for another. I did not die again in the place of another man. Oh, I am free. Ego, you are a free man. Never to die in the place of another one. Worry! Worry! What happened? What happened? What happened now? I went to your house. In my house? I saw your son. Your son not be nice back. Obina! Obi, yes, you have been marked. You 
give me more to die as a sacrifice. But if it is not come back for me, you will not die. Since your father did not have two native cows, to awaken the gods to strike you there in the city. Your father would have died instead of me. But see, the oil has spilled the way. Obi, you're going to die. Oh, Obi, Obi, Mama. Ah, Mama, stop crying. I've told you not to happen to me. You wake up tomorrow morning and see me sound and healthy. Stop crying, Mama. Stop crying. You will eat your last meal today before you begin the journey in the spirit. We shall carry your dead body to a cover market square. Fire shall be set under you. You will begin to burn. And elders will dance around the altar as you were born. And they will drink their wine. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. 
Thank you, Jesus. Indeed, uh, you are the King of Kings, uh, the Lord of Lords, uh, the essence of days. Uh. Thank, thank you, Lord. Indeed, you are the greatest. Uh. You are the King of Kings, you are the Lord of Lords, uh, the essence of days. Uh. Thank you, Father. There is no one like you, Lord.